I wonder if getting a camera and taking it around I've been I've been really communicating with homeless people really m more than ever it's it's really like they're it's my friend They can, they can, they can be my friend. They are my friend. Because it's in, it's in me. I've been, I want to do something really proactive when I get back to California. I want to do something that is going to help people. But there's more than just me proselytizing, is that a word? Just speaking, talking, proliferating, proliferating? I don't know. <clears throat> I'll do something. Maybe if, maybe if I get, get back into art, then I can make a lot of money and give it to people. Like Bono is donating all this money. I could, I can art but then it's like I can feel like it to do art to get paid for art I gotta censor myself and give what the people want to see no no give what is safe because it's what's safe is what sells no one's gonna try and sell something of mine that's not safe so like if I'm gonna be radical like, like this is pretty radical this is pretty what I do, I mean, who I am is, is extreme. Everybody says that, that I know. But it's balanced, but it's extreme because it's new for me. But if I, if I do this extreme thing and I want to make money with art, extreme art, I got I to gotta just sell it myself somehow, which I can do. It just feels overwhelming. It's like to get a paycheck for doing a TV show seems so much easier than to, to make a movie on my own or a show that to sell. Like, I don't want to sell my, my videos. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, not going to do that. I would sell, like, like a, I guess, script something and then shoot it and then sell it. I don't want to sell it. I don't want to take your money. I don't want it. I don't. I don't want your money. But what am I gonna do without money? Just keep fucking talking. What am I gonna do, dude? I'm just gonna keep doing this for years. Just talk. I am so lost. But I mean, I got you, which is me, which is you, who is Michelle 5451, 5154, I don't remember Michelle, it's Terry, it's, it's, it's Caitlin, and it's Katie, and it's Warren, Philip, Swen, Jay, I don't, I know you, I know you guys, I know all of you, I don't forget. I always am thinking about, I mean, I see, I look down, I, you guys are my friends, I think of you as my friends, the people that I know, that I don't talk to you a lot, but the same with my friends in Ohio, I don't, I don't talk to them a lot, but I, they're my friends, and, and, and that's good, because that's a basis for something. I guess I'm just like laying foundation for a house that I'll build one day once I get some money together I pay I sent my parents a check for $800 when I got my first two residual checks from the Long John Silver commercial I got a check for $1800 and a check for $1100 and then I sent my parents 800 because they let me borrow $2000 to help me move into this apartment that I'm in. I told him I would pay them back, so I am. And 
I have a lot of debt on my credit card. I have about $15,000 in credit card debt and $20,000 in student loans and $6,000 left on my car. But it's not, it sounds like a lot and the numbers are just illusions because I can pay it all off. Eventually it'll all be paid off and then the money that I'm making, I'm going to use it, I'm going to invest it to make more of it so that I can spread it around and build things like homeless shelters, like a homeless shelter slash internet cafe. Which someone in a comment left and said, Ian, you should do that. And it's like, it struck me, just like smacked me across the face. Of course, I want to do that. I want to, so I will. But I'm just laying the foundations for things now. I mean, I'm 28 and I have a lot of time to do a lot of stuff. And it's not all going to happen right now. And I'm okay with that. I just am going to keep going and keep living in the moment with my friends and, and, and keep working. Oh, I feel better. Okay, I'm going to shut off the video now.